to show respect for my father. Thank you. Thank you. Noah Dilly. Noah Dilly. So nice. Thank you. My God. Also, everyone who helped prep and cook and finally Graham for giving birth to him. You wouldn't be here, Graham. Thank you for hosting, Grandma, too. Thank you. We didn't have to clean your house. Thank you. All right. First off. Yeah, can you believe the day has finally came? Wow, well, pretty much. It's hard to pretty, believe. It's right it's right right here, man. I'm trying to, we're trying to figure yeah. it out. This, <laughs> you guys got me on this. This was a great yeah. surprise. I'm Good. totally surprised tonight. Uh, it literally seemed like yesterday you started at the jail. Some people may not know that when I was a baby, you were one of the few people that built the jail I from the ground up. Sad and Bruce, Bruce can attest to that. Mm -hmm. You were the locksmith for years and fixed everything. Especially with WD-40. Yeah. Yeah. Agent, Agent W. That's it. Yeah. That fixed yeah. everything. Yeah. Keep, keep, you know. Kept his job. Yeah. Yeah. When that wasn't enough, you became the vocational instructor for painting until you finally got the horticulture job you strived for and worked for it for so long. Once a farmer, always a farmer. Yeah. 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 Your worth ethic is an inspiration to many. I honestly don't know how you do it. I always saw you firsthand, but it was overwhelming when I worked with you that one summer down there. All of your co-workers would say the prison would not run if it wasn't for your father. And even the warden having you as his right-hand man really said a lot. It seemed like you never took a sick day for yourself, and that was more impressive. And what was more impressive is that you never let the job get to you. You worked with so many great people who became lifelong friends. You have made many memories and have had many great stories along the way. And if the 40-hour week wasn't enough, you worked several side jobs. We called these Jimmy jobs. We <laughs> <laughs> had a few. Yeah. They, uh, they involved roofing, siding, construction, and we'll just throw in the vineyard, because that was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we could go on and on, but all of these physically demanding jobs were done so you could do the things that you wanted and you provided for us growing up. You showed us the meaning of what it was to believe in ourselves and that anything was possible with hard work. Like your father, you are one of the most selfless people I've ever known. You do so much for us and expect nothing in return. Whether it's building garages or porches at Key and Matt's, or pouring concrete and dealing with, sorry guys, shitty septic issues at our house. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been there. You are a huge influence in our lives, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Lastly, you always tell us how proud you are of us. But, Dad, we are truly the ones that are proud of you. It is an honor to have you as a father. You are the greatest man I know. Your faith and love is an inspiration to us all, and you are my hero. I thank God every day for what you and Mom have done for us. If anyone deserves to relax and retire, it's you. The fact is... We know you will continue to work like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> but from all of us, we hope that you don't work too hard and enjoy your retirement. Hey! Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I have a drink. You guys have a drink? Hey! hey. 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 The Big Jim. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you for 30 plus years of service. And we love you, man. Hey. Hey. Yes. When he was